may not know. So if you post messages, like uh, topics that are very, I mean, I'll be familiar with, I don't know who you are, maybe the, I don't recognize the name, but they're very off topic and they have to do with far right talking points. Like somebody could just post it. Oh, what about North Korea? Do you think they're going to start a war? I put a timeout on this person because you know what? I'm not here for this trying to distraction bullshit. Okay. So I, maybe this person is genuine. I don't know, but that's just something that I have to do as a means to prevent the distraction crew from, from, you know, participating, whatever. So anyway, so, you know, one second. Um, so anyway, so I don't actually, I don't think it was now I'm recognizing maybe who knows. I don't know. It could be somebody I know, but Azumo, it's complicated. All the, this is why I, I feel like actually I avoid sometimes this live stuff because there's so, you know, you have to do some moderation anyway. So let's get started here. Why? I don't remember the name of the court, but which I, this, my sense is guys, because as you all, you probably are just like me, very concerned with the, the whole thing, uh, of, um, those indictments. Okay. So this is why I'm very alert about Rosenstein and what the hell he was doing there. Okay, was it uh, my sense is is there any way that that he could have like he could have tried to go you know he, he had a main meeting schedule I think today and he canceled for like Aspen cybersecurity something like that and then obviously right because there's a lot going on so I'm just wondering guys it was it something that he he said okay let's unseal this and that what's gonna happen this is my I'm concerned I'm concerned so so what's going to happen? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to lower, lower this. Okay. 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 So let's, let's look at this. Okay. Rosenstein, what were you doing there? Is there any chance that this is good? Is this, are you going to unseal? Oh, uh -huh. heart. Are you going to unseal some indictment? What's going on? What's going on here? What's the deal? So, okay, so what was he doing in court today? He was spotted there. There was nothing on the docket. Election. Oh. Oh. This could be the Department of Justice. Oh, the rush. Uh oh. This usually is the rush. Oh my God. Guilty Russia. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. What was he doing there? So, this is, this could be the, you know, the just, the courts. This is the government. The, election of the uh okay so let's see let's see more and more and more and more okay so what were you doing there rosenstein what are you doing there are we going to see some indictments what's the deal here hmm somebody leaving okay Moving away. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Oh, oh, interesting. It's victory. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And then.
So, okay, guys. So, um, are you there? I don't know if you can, you were watching. I don't know if it's still, I hope it's still going. I don't know if you could see it. Um, okay. So there's, it's, it's like has to do with the change. Okay. I'm just reading this guys. Okay. I hope you're on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can we use the government? Can we sue the government? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now guys, okay. Just, I'm just thinking here because I'm, I'm intrigued by this card. Somebody leaving reside. This could be resigning. Okay. Now I feel like this is the wheel of fortune is also an interesting card here in the sense of this is the moment. Uh, this is the moment of change, right? This is like the luck is turning. In this case, it's positive, but I almost wonder if they are preparing, they are turning the luck, they're preparing for, this is the victory, right? They're preparing for the, in case they have to leave it, okay? And then this is the, the guilty people, okay? So I feel like they're setting it in motion, it looks like, okay, let's see. Now, this is interesting. This is the, this I think would be Trump. This is the guy who looks orange, okay? And then we have a surprise. So there's a surprise. Okay. And then, now this is interesting because it's a card of weight. Okay. And the, the weight is right above the sword. So what I sense is that they have to set things in motion because there's a, the surprise came and they have to cut the weight. You know what I mean? That's what how I'm seeing this. But I'm going to close my eyes. I'm still kind of looking at the cards here. Okay, okay, then we have, what was it? This is a change. So something changes, okay, obviously, right? And then we have the changes related to, this is again, the foreign stuff. Okay, and then court, again, court. There's a change to the Russian investigation. So, so it's also the foreign power is influencing the investigation. So, so they did this. Now, this is a surprise, okay? So this was like, you know, it was a surprise. Okay, so there's a surprise, your financial surprise. Again, exposure of theft, and the person who's pretending to help is not helping. Okay, so, okay, so is there going to, okay, the question I want to know, is there going to be movement then? Are we going to see, did, is, did Rosenstein go there to get things, get, get these damn indictments out? Oh, imp okay, something important. Okay, so this is like upside down. Okay, um, success. This is anger. Okay. No, this is not wrong type of card. Okay, so then we have. This is worry. Something private, confidential. Okay, so then business. Okay, and I didn't do these, so Griffin adversity. Okay, guys, so, so, um, so what I was going to say, so what it looks like here is that he's preparing for treachery. He's, ex he is preparing for 
for, um, how do I explain this? It's like, he knows that something is coming that's not good. So he's preparing for all of this. Okay. It looks like there is private, there's success, but that there's private. It's almost like he's letting these people know that there's, they're going to be indicted. Okay. I don't feel like it's yet necessarily, um, public. Okay. But it's like, I don't know how, okay. So this is, is this, I don't know that it's going to be public quite yet, but it's something to the effect that he knows that somebody who can't be trusted is coming on and that it's almost a, what's strange here is that he's, this is this, he acknowledges that these people are going to create harm. He's not waiting. Okay. He's not thinking, Oh, what's going to happen. It's already in motion. Okay. Be, okay. So Rosenstein, what's happening? You know, I wanted to make sure that everything was in setting place because there's nothing, you know, I really know this guy, he, this guy, Matt, you know, he's been, I've been, he's been in my case from the beginning. I know who he is. I know who he is. He hangs out with. We know that he has had all these conversations with all these people. I know I'm not, I have his number. I know who he is. So we started to, you know, we're putting things in motion. We were taking the cautious approach, which was to wait until the final thing was, was out there. So we would do it, but you know what? We might as well just do it now because we don't want to, you know, we're not waiting. We're not waiting just because it is what it is. It's a sign to us and we're going to move. So I went over there just to, to let them know that this is going to be unsealed. What's going to be unsealed, Rosenstein? What's going to be unsealed is the many, several, seven. Okay, so tell me. Okay, so just say it. We're going to unseal the indictments of people in Congress, of people, everyone except the president, I guess. I don't know if it sounds even, I don't know if it's even possible, guys. It's always, it always sounds crazy to say. We're going to unseal this indictment just to show that this investigation is serious. We're not playing around. We're not waiting for this guy to tell us what to do. We know that legally there is not much that he can do. We know that legally he is not with the, it's not within his rights to, to do what he wants to do, which is to render this investigation useless. So we're going to move. We're going to move and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, but, so what were you talking about today? Rosenstein was talking about, I was telling them that I was giving them the orders, the case numbers, these indictment has, these indictments have been, it's like have been on the docket, I guess it's called. I don't know if that's the docket for a while. We're just waiting for, the right moment to unseal them and that's what we're going to do we are going to unseal these indictments because the report is coming soon and we want to make sure that this is going to be followed through um okay you know guys well, what's so interesting here is that okay so rosenstein is this going to go on the, to the media because what i see here is that this is behind the scenes okay there's all these things and it, so is this going to be public, Rosenstein? This is what I want to know. I understand that you are out there like indicting people, whatever. We may not know about this. So is it when is this going to be public soon? What's going to happen? Well, the president has been playing this public game and we have sh we have removed ourselves from this game situation. And now what we're going to do is we're going to play the public game as well in the sense that we're going to make it public. We have been working. We have been working very hard, except that this has not been public. But now it's the time to, to do that. Okay, so, so, guys, you know, and, and take this, you know, take this with a grain of salt, because I know that's what I want to hear this. Okay, that's what I want. I want, I have popcorn still. I have that cokes. So, I'm here. Uh -huh. Waiting. Uh-huh. Drinking. Waiting. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I don't know. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, don't cry for me, Argentina. So it's like, um, I don't know. I'm like, Oh, really? So, okay. Let me just push this forward. Okay. Kind of like, um, okay. What about, are we going to some about some more? I mean, guys, timing is weird. Okay. I always get nervous if I tell you these things and you're going to get excited. It never happens. 
But I feel like so I'd like to know what anything happened tomorrow. Any you know, little letter. Okay. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, so let's see. Anything tomorrow is gonna come out tomorrow. Okay, gloomy thoughts. Okay. Oh <laughs> you're gonna have regrets, bitches. Yeah? Really? <laughs> oh no, gift. Mm. I don't know. Somebody's gonna have some regrets about uh oh something becomes famous, becomes known. Opportunity. Oh cutting, okay. Opportunity to expose suddenly. Opportunity to expose something suddenly. Okay. What else? Let's see here. Is that right? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Justice, really? I wonder why. Oh, people. Some people not happy, huh? Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, look, guys. This is legal fight, okay? Oh, yeah? Tomorrow? <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, what else? What else? Coming? Oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God. Something becoming known. Oh, my God. Coming to prominence. Coming to prominence. This is a deal, okay? Deals? The deal's coming. There is nothing you can do. You're in bed. <laughs> hmm. So, okay. So then what else? What else do I have to... What else is not here? Okay. Something going for a long time. Okay. Loyalty. Okay. Yeah, we've been working on this for a long time. Diligently. Okay. That's right. Okay. So... Okay, gossip. Okay. Victory, all right. Okay. Oh, this is trap. You're trapped. <laughs> so, so guys, it's possible, okay? It's possible just because, you know, it's not, I don't have a letter card, but I have a lot of justice cards and things becoming known. So, so, so it's possible, okay? Is it is this so Rosenstein tomorrow? Are we gonna have are we gonna know this stuff? What's going on? Are we going to under tell me what's going on tomorrow? Okay guys, so what I it looks like to me, I'm, I'm closing my eyes here and I feel like I could, you know, I, I, like I said, I sometimes I hesitate to tell you these things because I don't know if it's going to happen because we wanted to, I want it to happen very badly and everything, but it looks like I see Rosenstein here and I don't know, you know, if he's apparently he's not in charge anymore. I don't know how he was going to talk in the justice department. I don't know, but he's saying that this is how, what we have done so far. Okay. He, I say that he's making, he's on a stage making a public statement. And he's saying, this is how we, are, what we have done thus far. And this is um, to show that, that we have been working very hard, very diligently. And this is to show the American people what, what we have um, accomplished. So, so I think I see some sort of press, I don't know, something like he's talking on a stage and he's, he's explaining what is coming out and what this means going forward. And, um, uh, and that's what it looks like to me, okay? I feel like he's lifting. But like I said, guys, I don't want to give you, you know, too much of an expectation. But it looks like, yeah, I think there's an unveil unveiling of sorts here, okay? So, okay. So I should move on because, yeah, I don't, just like, okay. So, like I said, guys, I know, again, this is a topic that I care about. So this is, sorry, this one, okay. So next, let me move on then, because it looks like it, yes, there's a possibility that he could, okay, Muller, what's going on tomorrow? Let me just ask Muller, ask other people's, okay, Muller, so what's, what's going on tomorrow, Muller? Tomorrow. I see Muller on a chat, I don't know if chess guys, but, but, um, but I see him playing chess, but he's making a big move, it's like he's making a move tomorrow, so. So, um, so that's it, guys. Okay, so he's making a big move. Oh, 
yeah so so i don't yeah so that's what i think okay guys it's um How are you feeling, Rosenstein? What's your feeling about this? I don't want my legacy to go to waste. I know who this guy is. I'm making the bet that this is not, he's not going to get away with this. So I'm going to show the country what we have done so far. So yeah, so I don't feel like, I don't think guys that, that uh, for some reason, I don't see him kind of like cowering like, oh no, no. Oh, no, no, all this stuff. Oh, this is it. He's saying he's making the argument. These are sealed indictments. These are have already done. They're already set. He can't undo the indictment, okay? So this is interesting. This is pretty interesting, actually. This makes sense. Okay, so these are sealed indictments. We're just going to seal them. We did it a long time ago. Yeah, uh -huh. what do you think? <laughs> so, so that's exciting. Okay, so now. Okay, so... So again, guys, this is what I think is very possible. Okay, unsealing the sealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now let's go to RGB, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Okay. So, um, guys, before I did the reading, okay, when I saw this, these comments, before I had read, I know some people had emailed me about it, and I didn't hadn't read the news, and I was like, I know that she's she's gonna stay, guys. I she's she broke her, her ribs, but she's gonna she is holding on. She is not letting go. I was just like, I'm not dead. Mm -mm, no, no. She is not, guys, I'm telling you. You know how people, I believe that very much, that people, that um, that a lot of people um, wait, you know, when it's your time. I feel like they, there's something, um, I think there's such a thing as waiting until, you know, this is not the case of, you know, she's like, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not going to let that guy get away with it. Are you kidding me? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. She just broke a bone. Okay, whatever. It's just bones. I'm sorry. Like, oh, just bones. Just bone. Get up. Get what? No, it's very serious, right? So much so that she didn't show up for the thing she had to do. But I don't think she's going to, no, I don't see her going. She's like, and the spirit is like, no, no, I'm not going. Huh? You think I'm going to? No, no. So, guys, and I'm serious, even if she had to come with, like, a breathing machine or whatever, you know, she would, like, <sighs> you know what I mean? She is not going to, no. She's, like, what? Like, whatever, you know, she's in the middle of a, if she has to go do, a, like, some transplant live, she would show up. Like, I'm serious. She is not going to give up at all. So, I'm not really, you know what I mean? She's not, she's, like, yeah, I'm still alive. Bring the idea how to see a car coroner around? No, no, I'm still alive. So, you know what I mean? So, I just feel like she is not, she just had a fall. Um, and so she's she's still around, okay? So, I don't, I, I'm not, okay. Oh, she's sick. Oh, there she is. She's sick. Unexpected. Yeah, so guys, look, this is news, okay? This is news. The writer changed, something changed, okay? Something new. What happened? She's sick. Oh, look, I'm a lot too. There she is. She's a little sick. She's not dead. She's sick. <laughs> so, because of no coffin, thank God. <laughs> so, this is unexpected, okay? So, unexpected sickness. Little sad new disappointment. Little sad news. Little, little, okay, whatever. And she, but she was asserting herself, okay? She wants to assert herself. I'm not that bitches. I just broke a couple of ribs. I'm not that bitches. I just broke a couple of ribs. I'll be back. Dotard. I won't be gone until you go. That's it. She's like, mm -mm. no. Don't let that door hit you on the way back, Mr. President. On the way out, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So, I seriously, guys, I feel like she's going to, she, I see her ha having those, uh, you know, she has binoculars. Like, she's like waiting for him to leave. Like, <laughs> Start walking now, bitch. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going. <laughs> so, so that's what I think. Okay. That's what I think. All right. So. Okay, so I think she's fine. You know, honestly, guys, I don't think, you know, I think she's she's totally fine, okay? 
And I think she's fine. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sorry. Let's look at that guy. What's his name? The Commerce Secretary, Wilbur Ross. He's like 85 years old. I don't know. I'm not saying that because, you know, maybe you could be very healthy. But seriously, there's these people there. Okay, let's get real. Yeah, she's fine. She's just fine. Okay, so, okay. So, okay, so then... Okay, Mueller. Okay, so now let's go, let's look at the the Florida recount and the Georgia recount. Okay, and then um, we're going to look into the Mueller. I mean, I feel like honestly, I feel the Mueller report is really much more about. It's not really the point. Is the indictments the report? I'm sure it's important, but it's really not the biggest thing. Okay, and then let's think about the who's the new attorney general. What's going to happen with this whole situation? Okay, still so Chris Christie, Chris Chris Kovac. This is great. That's great. Okay, so all right. So so what about the few? Okay, um, okay. So what about the recount? Let's start with Florida. What's going to happen? What's happening in Florida right now? Okay, let's let's focus. Let's do two things. Let's do separate for Bill Nelson and Rick Scott, and then Andrew Gillum and DeSantis. Okay, so let's go on. What's well, okay? First, what's going on in Florida right now with these with counts? What's going on? What's going? On, what's going on? Okay, this is uh, apathy, disappointment, and then let's see here the how the White House. Okay, the House. Oh, there's a Hurud the gentleman. Could be Trump, it could also be a donor. Interesting. This is a mistake, okay? There's early mistakes. And then we have Yeah, this is shady stuff, okay. This woman upside down. This is one is here. Okay, so then money, okay. So one sec. What's going to happen to this recap? This is again the house, the country. Mm. Oh, military, really? <laughs> Law enforcement? Uh oh, letter. <laughs> Secret letter. Secret letter. Secret letter. Interesting, the authority upside down. So the solution becomes the problem. Authority upside down. Oh, look, the law, guys, very good, very good. The law has a little letter for you. Yes, what happened? Oh, interesting. This is something unpleasant. Okay. This is then I'm happy. We have joy, fun, joy. Okay, so what else? Yeah, this is gift. Okay. And this is true. Okay, so. okay, guys, so it looks like the whole thing with, with Florida, it's possible that that they're this is like um that law enforcement is involved with things turned upside down and that there is a secret votes okay there's something there's a legal um decision i think okay now now it's just the, what's happening now let's see which so what about the, each race rick nelson versus bill scott okay so so what's who's okay so let's see here What's going to happen in the race between, let's see, Rick Nelson here. I'm sorry, Rick, Bill, Bill Scott here on the right, the left, the Democrat, okay. Uh oh.
Well, this is the one that's missing. So guys, it's, you know, it looks to me, it looks pretty clear that, that this is a positive, there's a discovery here of theft, okay, of, of uh, shady connections and theft, and there's some hope for, Bill's, for um, Bill Nelson here, and there's bad news for him, okay, for Rick Scott. This is known as the worst, the worst card in, um, in Sevilla, okay, the disgrazia upside down. So. It looks bad, okay? He's worried but because I feel like there's just, there's a connection here of finances, okay? And in this, okay, it looks like, okay, now where, who's going to be the, who's going to win the, the Senate, okay? This one or this one? Let's just do quickly, okay? So who's going to win? Okay, guys, you know what's really sad is that it, to me it looks it's very obvious that this was stolen. Okay, no no doubt about it. Okay, you have this is Bill Nelson's side. Okay, so this is I, I this could be I think they're both blonde guys. Okay, power or finances. Okay, this is, I think power. Then we have hidden attacks. Okay, enemies attacks. We have the the criminals. Okay, exposed. We have an ending. And we have grief and adversity. So I think there's this to me here that says nobody is getting the, the, you know, the, like the big win here to me, it looks like this is just, it looks like it's going to be exposed. Okay. But there's, like I said, all these hidden attacks, meaning I think there was, I think the Russians went into the system and they did all of this to create the ending and grief and adversity for him. However, at the same time, you have this this Rick Scott, the not not to not he's trying to to claim the the win early, okay. And this is this could be either an indictment or votes, love, okay, or happiness in some way. Now this is a bad news or bad votes or something like that. I think of it as, as Putin, okay, and also something becoming known. And this is money. So so guys, you see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like Okay, let me just see here. So who, I it looks like it's obvious that if Bill Nelson loses, he it was stolen. The question is, is this going to be public? And who ends up going to Washington? That's the question here. Okay, guys, what I saw, okay, who was, tell me, okay, who is going to watch? Like I said, I, you know, I'm almost hesitant to, to, um, to say this, but I see that, you know, Rick Nelson, he's very angry. Okay. He's very like, he does, you know, like all these Trump people they they commit these crimes and they feel like they have to get away with it. And then I see that there's, there's Rick Scott celebrating. Okay. He's like having this party that he already scheduled. And then it's like this Roman, almost like a Roman fight, okay? He has a gun, he has a knife, he's a, about to kill Bill Nelson. But Bill Nelson suddenly becomes like Bruce Lee. <laughs> and then he like wins. He's like... <laughs> he, 
he wins and it's totally unexpected. Okay. He's like, he's about to sacrifice Nelson and then the whole thing turns around. So I see, I see, I just feel like guys, I see that he, and I see him yelling, you know, like a crazy person who thought they were going to win at the party that he had already scheduled. Like it's, it looks like there's a party, um, a victory party in place happening almost. And then he's like, ah, ah. he's so angry. Uh, Rick Scott, because the whole thing is exposed. And I think eventually it looks like Bill Nelson is, is cause I see, I picture a train. It's like, okay, show me who's going to le be leaving the train, meaning who's going to head on the train to Washington and who's going to get off the train. And it's Bill Nelson. Okay. Now it shows the one thing that it feels like to me, I have to say is that this may take a while. Okay. I feel like this is for some reason, I get the sense that it may drag on this fight. Okay. About this thing. But what is, what are they going to find? Okay. What is this? What is the criminal evidence that they have against Bill? I'm sorry, against uh, Rick Scott. They have the Russians in place. They have the evidence of the Russians in the system. And they changed the, yeah. Okay. There's two, two. See, guys, it's it's showing me here that I feel like the, the intel agencies have evidence that the Russians were... This is known, okay? And this is what Bill Nelson had said in public before, that they have evidence that the Russians were in the systems in Florida, okay, already. So it shows that, that the thing is that it shows that they're like, okay, we have this evidence that they were in... With the acknowledgement, and there's all these, they're showing these text messages or something that can meaning that the that Rick Scott knew, and there was a deal. And there's all, yeah, as you guys probably know, there's all these Russians, a ton of Russians in Florida. You know, it's very shady over there. And then, and that he okay. Not only they were in the system, but that the whole comp, it's showing that the voting process was compromised because these machines were changed. And there's several ways that they could, could they kind of see this, guys. And so it's very, um, I just, this is the thing. It's like, that's what it is, okay? So, but how? And I feel like they have been. I'm seeing, and I remember, guys, I read some news somewhere, somebody saying that, I don't know if it was Georgia or Florida, someone said, oh, we have to re do these recounts, there, the, you know, there's, uh, people are watching us very closely, we can't, you know, the Republicans are saying, we have to be very careful, because and basically they're saying we can't commit the same crimes we did in the past, and they have been warned that they will be indicted if they, do, if they fuck up, you know, they, they, there was people telling this to them, like, not just, it wasn't, it's not like before, there's more law enforcement, and I see Mueller on top of Rick Scott, meaning Mueller, he knows that Rick Scott is involved in this, we, in, independent of this election, the past, he was also, he's involved with the Russians, by the way, guys, did you know that the rush, that at Florida pension system, this is a whole other story, I don't have time for this exactly today, but eventually at some point, that woman, Pam, it's like this bimbo woman, Pam Bro, Bro I forgot the name, Brondi, Bondi, and all these people, you know, they, they got the Florida pension system to buy into all these Russian companies, you know, they, it's very corrupt over there, it's very crazy, you know what I mean, it's like, they're, it's like the whole thing is like so down in bed with Russia, it's crazy, okay, but that's what it looks like to me, guys, eventually Bill Nelson gets to it, and, and I think the train leaves the town, and, and Bill, and Rick Scott's is, yeah, blonde, beyond the, that's right. That's right. Um, and Rick Scott is still screaming ah, like that. You know, he's, ah, he's so angry because he thought he was going to get away with everything. It's like the sense of entitlement and all those things. So, so that's what I feel like guys. But like I said, I don't, unfortunately, I don't get the sense that it's, I think it's going to drag on. Okay. And I think it's going to be a while before this whole thing. Okay. So, um, but it's like very deep, and I feel like Mueller is kind of like, because there's so much evidence that they are so corrupt, and they are very down with the, um, you know, the um, 
the Russians. Okay, so so it's very serious what's going on. And Mueller, I think he does not want to get involved right away, but it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Okay, so so that's what it is. Okay, so okay, so yeah, she's very bad. She's terrible. You know this woman. Um, so okay, now that's what I think, guys. For for uh, for this this race now. Andrew Gillum and Desantis. Let's just say this. Let's just go into this. May it's very likely that it's going to the same thing could be happening. Okay, so Gillum and Desantis. Okay, Gillum and Desantis. Okay, first thing here is Gillum. Okay, so we have this is a Pierre friend. So this is the priest. So people hidden stuff going on behind the scenes. Okay, that I think may eventually benefit him. Okay, this living room it means it means something in imminent. It also means something secret. Then we have this is a lot of money, but it could also be a lot of something. Okay, it's multiples. So what I sense here is that there's people behind the scenes finding more, a lot of votes on his bit for him. Okay. Then we have the military card. Okay. Which I feel like the sense that he was attacked, right? Now this is the white house upside down. So there's a sense that the white house obviously didn't want him to win and helped turn his fortunes upside down. Okay. Then, oh, here's a card of work. So, and this is what's here. So there's his work. I think there's a lot of people wanting him to lose. There's an investment in this. Okay. Then we have the centuries. This is harvest. And in a way, if you think of like these cards of money in the context of votes, they could very well be votes. Okay. Because it's uh, something material and something of uh, multiples of something. This is harvest of votes upside down. So there's a sense here that there's a, they are undercounting votes. Okay. Then a long way or for a long time, or there has been going on for a long time, or that the people who are doing this are, are far away. It could be the Russians. Again, look, the ship, the foreign influence, the enemy involved in this, the exposure of the enemy, absence. Now, this is really interesting, okay? This is somebody is absent, is not there, okay? And then we have, this is also a sinking ship, but it's hope and vision, okay? And then we have this woman thing. This is prison. Now, I put it on the card because I don't necessarily want to be about women or men, but this is prison. So what I sense here, guys, is that they could be this. Think about absent votes, right? So they were undercounting these votes and they were hiding votes. Okay. Very likely with the help of Russians. Okay. So this, the, I don't know if it's him, but there's a sense here that there's a, again, cheating, and that they were both hiding. There, there's something about those ballot, whatever ballots, or they are hiding votes, and they are also undercounting them somehow, okay? And that there is, they know, but I think the important thing here, this card suggests that the people who are watching these elections know that he's the winner somehow, okay? They seem to know that there's more votes that went for him than, okay, so... Who becomes governor then? Gillum or Gillum? Or this Oh, wrong. I don't know. It's 
sometimes it happens. Okay, so. Okay, so just quickly here. This is <clears throat> this would be a lawyer, okay, on offer, legal offer. Now this is corruption, prison, deal, the fake people and the military. So this is I think here, guys, for Gillum, it shows that he may be offered eventually after the the, the exposure of corruption leads people in prison and there's some sort of deal here and the, mil the the law enforcement gets involved okay and then we have here this guy DeSantis this is longing this is the beginning of something this is internet okay it's also dreams but also internet the webs the web molar now this is really interesting because you have molar you have a definite ending the where he can is uh, this is loss and this is a lot of money, okay? So an expected money, or it could be an expected one. So the sense, okay, this is the sense I get, okay? So, so guys, I feel like, I just feel like, okay, the sense here is that, I remember, I think, you know, thinking this thing about Andrew Gillum, that he could be declared governor later. And I feel like still, what it shows, <clears throat> is that he may eventually be offered the job once the all the law enforcement has, has gone involved in this because it's here Mueller is here and then on top of the Santis, okay and it shows that this is a definite ending for him but i think that and this seems obvious okay but that we it shows that whatever the result of the recount is in the end um it's he's only uh, gillen is only going to get this job after the exposure of the Santis corruption happens you know what i mean so 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 that's what i want to say guys you know what i mean so i feel like there's more that has to come out and it's even possible unfortunately that in this case the recount of um i just feel like there's more here that's going to come out about the Florida race beyond just the votes themselves, okay? And that's like a thing. I feel like this whole thing of Florida's gonna make could drag on months, okay, to be honest. But that eventually Gillum it may be that uh DeSantis may be the initially declared winner, but he's gonna have to leave. You know, there's a sense here that that there but there ha everything has to come out in order for, for him to take the job, for Gillum to take the job. You know what I mean? Because it's very serious. Okay, so now let me move on to Stacy Abrams, okay? Stacy Abrams, okay? So Stacy Abrams, Stacey. yeah, it makes sense because uh, Rita is saying here that a teacher found a box of sealed provisional ballots in an old gym. The sense that they're hiding, they're under under counting votes, they're hiding votes, they're there's just this whole thing happening, okay? A kind of a systematic thing. So so the okay. So now let's see, Stacy and and Kemp, okay? So Stacy. And camp. Oh, present for him. Good for him, camp. So, okay. Okay, so let's look at Stacy first. Now, this is this is a hard, hardships, okay? Now, it, like I said, guys, you know, I feel like I made the mistake of not understanding sometimes that in the case of votes, this is not necessarily about money, but if you think about it, anything, something material, something tangible would be this, okay? So this is would be poverty or lack of votes or, or hardship in some way like that. Okay, now... That she's a good person, okay. Amika, right? She's a good person. Now we have the card of success, sun, or exposure of something, and then this is work. We have uh, what is it? Okay, now this is interesting the falsity upside down, exposure of lies, okay. The fake work. Now this is the Mueller card, okay, and then loss of money okay this is a lot of problems with money so if you think of money as votes there's all these problems with shady votes okay 
So it looks like Mueller would come in and would expose all this, you know, the, the shady voting situation. And then we have the, the camp. This is message invitation. Okay, news about him. And then we have, as, as Stacy is the friend, he is the enemy. Okay, the enemica. This is conversations. Okay, I've said before, guys, I feel like there is conversations, recordings of him. Expectation. Okay, there's a waiting or expectation. Three months. Now, this is coldness. Okay, upside down. It's like, there's a... It's always like the relationship is becoming more challenging. This is prison. And this is mistake. Okay, so so it, it looks like he's being he's giving the he's getting the information that this is the news that he is, is an enemy. There's there's conversations about this. He is expecting this, and there's the coldness, and he go you know what I mean? So it's sort of like the whole thing was a mistake. Okay, we know that this so so is Tacey eventually going to be declared governor or will Ryan Kemp get away with this? That's the big question, okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay, what what is it? Let's see here. Okay, so what is, guys, I just feel like she, this is, this says that she's fighting, okay, and then she has the money here, what I would interpret as the votes, she has the votes, she continues, okay, this is faithfulness, affection, but it's also that she has the money and she has the fans or she has the, uh, also, and, but that the false person, this is the false person, this is not her, has an obstacle, okay, so it could be that the false person is impeded. Okay, and then we have here something quiet in the background, older man. This is him. Could be just the influence of term. Now this will be upside down. It means that the, whatever the image is, is exposed, this there's hopelessness. Okay, or that there's no way, no, no, he can't go much further. And this is the Gutadama. Uh, this could be Stacy, but I, I, you know what? I just I picked another card just to, to see. This is expectation waiting, and this is him upside down so so i feel like it doesn't over time this shows that she could win okay but like i said you know it's one of those situations where okay so let me just see tell me about what happens to stacy abrams who ends up tell me show me the governor's mansion and then who ends up living there okay so okay let's show me the house okay so we're gonna knock on the governor's house we're gonna see who opens the door? Okay, so guys, you know, you know how I feel about it. Okay, so I show that she opens the door of the governor's mansion. She's giving an interview and she's saying, you know, she's talking to someone. She's giving an interview. It's, we, it took us four months. But we got here, okay. So, so from the date of probably the election until she, you know, she wins again, or or this whole thing is found, you know, all this stuff, it it shows that that eventually she's gonna win. But I don't feel, guys, that if this is gonna take months, I think, okay, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, so what's gonna happen? What is the way for for the? Tell me the path that she and Brian Kemp are gonna have to go through before she or him get to the, the governor's mission okay so first she thought it's like i'm validating okay
Okay, so it shows me, guys, that first there's just, you know, the campaigning and that she's very excited about it. It very clearly looks like she could win. And then it shows him, it shows uh, the while she's campaigning, it shows that he has been pressing. It's like he's, you know, it looks, reminds me of an elevator, like you're pressing, he's pressing all these buttons. But basically, he's pressing these buttons in order to deactivate the voting systems of people who would likely vote for her. That's what it's showing. It's very clear. Okay. He's basically pressing buttons to make sure that the people who would vote for her, he knows they would vote for her. They can't, their votes are not counted. So it's showing that, yeah, you know, the, of course, you know, they all want to vote for her, but when it comes down to it, they can't. Why? Because he, it's a little bit like, for example, imagine if you had all these phone lines and you cut the phone lines of all the people who want to make the call. So they're like, I'm going to call you, but then there's no phone line. You know, it's like he did it. On, he cut, it's like the same person who cuts the phone lines is him. He cuts the, the, the places and in various ways, okay, he does all of this. So then it shows that there's this re, you know, they have to do another one, I think, mid December 4th. And that he's going to be like, you know, he hands are tied. Like uh, he's going to be, that they are being, he's being impeded to do what he did before. And he's like, he's watching. He's like, we have to do this because what happens is the second one, they catch all the, not catch all, but they realize that there's, there's all these holes. Okay. So it's a little bit like you have a water system and it's leaking. So it's the water system is not working. You have to change the whole water system. So what they do is that they have to kind of find a new, I don't know if they, what they do, but they kind of have to start, I don't say start from scratch, but they have to let people vote and count it differently. Reroute the assist, water system kind of thing, so to speak, so that the county system works in the normal way i don't know how that's going to be done so so that that way it shows and he's like getting angrier and angrier because he knows that he could not win without cheating honestly he knows he knows exactly what to do in order to win because he can't win naturally so so that's what it shows guys i think that eventually it shows and that's once the whole thing is counted he is there's somebody grabs him from here and puts him in jail okay exactly Exactly, Rita M. She's saying the whole, yeah, I followed all the, I've been reading this on this. It's very shady. The guy is extremely shady. So this is what I think. I think he gra he's grabbed by law enforcement. After the counting, he go, I think he may truly go to jail, okay, because it's it's really insane all, what he has done. So, so yeah, so I think there may be a second one and she may, and she may, may win then, okay? And it's like I said, you know, it, it shows you saying here four months for me to get here. It took, took me four months. But here we are, we're not giving up, we've never given up. And that's what I think, guys, you know, it, it shows that he once he is removed, that's the thing. It's like then they can fix the holes in the system, okay? But there's going to be a lot of obstacles, all these people who are going to try to to hide stuff and all that. So, you know what I mean? It's very serious. So, so that's what I think. Okay, I still feel, guys, you know, honestly, I know I said, like, oh, but, you know, I just feel like they she wins, okay? We. I, Right, and it's interesting now. I wasn't doing readings at the time of of Hillary's, you know, the last election, but I remember, you know, reading all these. Oh, such and such said that Hillary is going to win, and all that. And now it makes sense. I understand what they're saying because in the visions, it's like you could see that these people win. The Hillary won. You know, this thing people won. It's just that they kind of, you know, they did these shady things, and to prevent people from, from taking over, you know, from actually getting the, you know, all this stuff. So that's what it looks like. Okay. But this time they're going to have to fix it. And I feel like, I don't know how the fact that he's going to be away from that office, the fact that he will not, and I'm seeing here guys, the people who are on his team. Okay. I see there's all these federal agents next to them. And, and it's like, they're like, are you going to go ahead? Show us what you did last time. Okay, so you know what I mean? Kind of like they, it's almost like they know the system, they know the scam, but now there's a, a law enforcement person right there. Are you going to do it again? Are you going to kill somebody if the cops are right there watching you? You know what I mean? The same thing. It's kind of like they're like, uh, I don't know. So, so that's what I feel like. There's going to be monitor. You know how they had, unfortunately, this is true. I guess the Human Rights Watch or something, all these like international organizations, they go to certain countries to, to observe the election. Same thing. You know, they have to observe the elections because it's so illegal. It's so shady. So, so that sort of thing. Okay, so now, okay, so then, okay, now let's look into mo moving on a little bit. Okay, so 
Okay, so then Mueller's, okay, there's Mueller's report and then the, the AG. Let's see and think about what's going to happen. Let's go to the, the Attorney General situation, okay? What's going to happen with the Attorney General situation? What's going to happen? Um, who is going to, okay, is this guy Matt, okay. I'm just, I'm going to close my eyes for this, okay, guys. So what's going to happen? Who's going to take over if we can find out? Okay, well, gonna happen Okay, guys, so, all right, this is the thing. I felt like the, okay, who's going to? I get this sense here about the the attorney general. So this is, I got some, a couple of interesting things here. I saw Jeff Sessions, you know, he's leaving. I feel like there's a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to happen because I feel like he invited this. This guy was like some sort of, uh, you know, uh, mad whatever, right? He was a, a Fox a commentator or something like that. So, so, um, so then I see that he's ejected also. Okay. Because I see that Jeff Sessions rats, uh, rats him out. Okay. As well. I feel like Jeff Sessions has already, I think he's already, I've said before, he's already started to talk to Mueller a, a while back, but he decides to also write out on him, on that guy, because he also feels betrayed by this guy. Okay. Even though I think he's also like a white, crazy white supremacist. For you know, this this is gonna sound like the craziest thing, guys. Okay, but I feel I just want I'm just gonna say this, okay? So I feel like Jeff Sessions actually bonded with Rosenstein in a weird way. It's possible, okay? And that and that in a way I feel like it's possible that that uh that he decides to just kind of tell it all, you know, say everything he knows in order to save himself. And his, you know, he wants to, he wants to maintain his air, even though he's, you know, he's done all this stuff and he's very responsible for Trump's rise. Okay. He's also, um, I just feel like he decides to tell it all. And this is kind of something that also prompts him, the other guy to leave, you know, this is, sounds crazy because I was like, oh, cause I, I see this guy kind of like a, you know, like a, like literally appeal, like. He gets there. He's like, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, and, and it doesn't, he doesn't, you know, sometimes you have these toys where they have to kind of click, click in place kind of thing. Tick, tick, click. And he doesn't click into place. Like he doesn't fit in the plate. Like it's not that he actually even, I guess he's working there now, but I feel like something doesn't click. It's the wrong part. You know what I mean? So it's like, he doesn't fit there. And, um, and because of this, and I kind of feel guys, I see this, I could be totally wrong about this. That it's possible that Sessions could have told him that guy that you're gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. About, I'm gonna tell what I know. I, I feel like there's a sense that he there's just a sense. I see guys that that Jeff Sessions is like, you think you're gonna get rid of me? No, I'm here. I'm here to tell it all. You know. So he's like decides that he's gonna. I know all about you. I was here. You were there with the Russian meetings. You know, it's like he knows all, you know what I mean? He's like, he, he, and I don't like, obviously I don't like Jeff Sessions by any means, but there is a weird way in which he seems to have this whole thing, just like in a different way from Trump, a sense of loyalty of like old fashionedness about him that you don't, there's some things you don't do. And that's kind of how he's like, you don't do that to somebody like me, you know, whatever. Like he wants it's like, it's, but it's not, you know, the sense that I get about him, it's not like Trump is all about the ego, right? He's like, 
you don't do this to me, I'm going to destroy you. But the thing about Sessions is that there's, he's, he has a weird old-fashioned sense of loyalty. But it's not something you do. You know, something like that. Like, he's very... He has this almost like a church, like he's very, very square. He's very, there's a certain, even though he was able to get, you know, I feel like he's, I've seen this before about him. He feels betrayed by the Russians. He feels like he was an idiot. He believed it. And I think he's still, you know, the whole thing with, with what he wants to do, it is racist. And that's all he, want, he wanted to do in this, in this. But at the same time, I just feel like he has this weird thing. Like, it's not a right thing to do. That's not right. You know, so he's going to go and going to say, tell what he knows because he knows he's like, I am the only person in the Trump White House that actually have a government experience, you know, or whatever, you know, I am the only person I was a U.S. senator before, whatever, you know, so then he's like, um, he, he says what he knows and he said, uh, he's not afraid. Okay. So he just, I feel like eventually he's going to. He's going to go there. And I feel like he's told the guy. To, I don't know. There's just a sense here, guys, that, that, uh, yeah, that just, I just get the sense, guys, very strongly that he, um, yeah, he's going to tell what he knows. And he knows a lot about this guy. And for some reason, I feel like, um, I just feel like, this is the thing, guys, I feel like he, tells Mueller or Rosenstein about financials, you know, like how he, this guy got money from Russia or whatever, something like that. He seems to know, uh, the seems to know about these payments as well. There's just a sense that he writes, every, he writes them out. It's like, yeah, go ahead, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like, um, and he shows, you know, I see sessions looking at this guy, you know, at Matt Whitaker or whatever, and, like, it's, I'm, I, like, as you know, I don't like him, but he's showing, from his perspective, Matt Whitaker is the guy who's throwing him in the train tracks as the train is coming. He's like, hello, Jeff Sessions, boom, pushes him to the train tracks. So he's seen this happening, Jeff Sessions seen this happening, he's like, I know you're the, you don't try to kill me, Matt Whitaker, I got a whole lot of information. Mueller is on the phone right now. I'm telling him what I know. So, so you know, so it's kind of like, so, oh. <laughs> so, in a weird way, guys, out of all the options you've given me here, I, and it's even worse, okay? It's even worse when I'm going to say the person. I, I think the woman, you know, Peg, no, what's his name? What's her name? The one, Pam Beyond. More, it's more of a, but I feel like the whole thing is already, has already been dismantled. The whole op this is the thing what happens to Trump guys. He only picks people who are corrupt. Period. Right? So because obviously the only reason why they have a job is because they do whatever Trump wants. So the problem is that the scheme of corruption has already it's kind of like um the scheme of corruption has been exposed. So if you accept these jobs, you're gonna have to go to jail. It's almost like guaranteed, okay? So he may pick, pick these people, but I don't think they are all under investigation, and they kind of. I don't think that there's there's gonna be a whole, you know. And I okay. And in a weird way, guys, and I know it sounds crazy what I'm gonna say because I almost don't believe it at what I see here. I feel like actually Rosenstein will eventually be there still because he all these people are gonna have to leave, and 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 there's a sense of like. Um, that Trump is really, you know, with this whole thing. Okay, what's going on? That there's going to be a vacancy there. Whoever is there doesn't really get to do anything, or there's a vacancy. There's a sense here that nothing really happens. It's all this is until this the administration falls apart. Because, like I said, Trump the the scarier he he's scared he's the scarier. I'm sorry. The, he gets scared and then he acts crazy. And then when he acts, he gets scared. He only wants corrupt. Like I said, you know, so he can't he can't pick anybody because nobody wants nobody is gonna want to do decent people. Even half decent don't want to do the job because it's all corrupt. And then the corrupt people don't get the job because all the stuff comes out. So so nothing happens. This is the thing. And I think actually he has demoted Rosenstein right. And I think that Rosenstein may stay. 
okay until yeah it's weird but i feel like i don't know it's it, it, it you know there's a sense here that could go both ways but but like i said none of the the picks of trump they kind of you know it's a little bit like trying the same thing the one that may go further is maybe the beyond the person possibly but but um but still it's just i get the sense i do get the sense that it's not going to work okay for this it's going to be a situation where nothing clicks there and and it's just because he's trying to wrestle he's trying to destroy the the investigation and therefore the sense of justice so those i feel like the the department of justice is the battleground here okay so so that's what i feel like okay those people who he picks are not very able not very smart legally speaking okay so okay so okay so what happens to whoever are we going to have a new ag okay let's see here this is secret spilled okay, let's see. money okay money about money okay the loyalists okay pay. not serious okay communications treason okay yeah amateurs exactly and probably yeah so are we gonna have a, a new person in place? Okay, this is okay. Yeah. I don't know, guys. It, it's really you know a sense. I I just get the sense that this is gonna be. Trump is going to put all his energy into trying to end the investigation. This is not going to work and it's going to be a battleground. And, and I think we'll see. Okay. It's, 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 um, but I think sessions is not, is not done like this. No, I'm not done. Okay. So now let's look at the last thing I want to end it on. I can go to, it doesn't have to end at nine necessarily. Oh, did I pick an end time? Maybe I hope it doesn't end. Don't cut off. Don't cut off. Wait for me. I was just going to, so um i have it's 119 minutes so there's 10 minutes left okay so so now what about Mueller's? what's the deal with his report is this true that he it is true that he's gonna you know has written this report what's the deal with this report okay so i'm sorry this is ugly i got a heart rate monitor because I'm, I'm taking exercise very seriously very seriously so but it's very ugly but it works really well so i have a strap around my chest so i measure the heart beats because i was like i'm you know has to get fitter so anyway so i'll move remove this anyway so okay so tell me about this Mueller report what's going on guys it's kind of funny okay that it shows that Mueller is like yeah they're like hmm they talk about this report but the report is really all about the indictments the indictments are a little bit uh, the report is a little bit like an instruction manual for like the vcr you know what i mean it's like yeah that's the instruction manual but the real piece is the indictments they don't know they say ha 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 they don't know that there's all these indictments the reports come with indictments yeah <laughs> it's not it's not just somebody saying something oh this is what I found. <laughs> no, it's uh, explanation of indictments. Yeah. So, so the fact it's like they don't they they don't get it. They don't understand that, that it's not just a report. The report comes after the indictment. Okay. So it's like the report is instruction manual. Mm -hmm. What matters is indictment. <laughs> so, and it's showing telling me guys that this is, has already been by been shipped off to what is it? Like I said, Southern District for financial stuff and all these things. So, would they be made public? Yeah, yeah, they will. But and it's going back to me that the image of uh, of um, Rosenstein unsealing, pushing, going over there to unseal these indictments. Okay, because the indictments are already. I think they are. Like I said, I think they are sealed. Okay, most of them, and I think they're going to be unsealed. It shows that, remember yesterday, I think, 
those readings I did about the, I was so worried about the whole thing of what, you know, can, can this guy stop Mueller's investigation, all those things. What it showed is that this already happened. It's almost as if I kind of feel like it's already in place and it's just a matter of them lifting the thing. Okay. But it's the indictment seems to be okay for these people, the powerful people. It's already in place and the FBI is, it seems to be handling the smaller people who are not in the government. Okay, so the people in the government are, it's, it's Mueller. And then, you know what I mean? So, so I don't think that it's, um, one thing it's showing basically that this Mueller report, one thing doesn't work without the other. You know what I mean? Meaning that the report's not going to come by itself. It's not going to come on, on its own. It just comes with the indictment. So, so, uh, good luck. Yeah, you're very smart, huh? I heard. <laughs> So, so that's that, guys. I hope I did not go off. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's I know a lot that we all anxious about this, and hoping that everything works, that all of that does, you know, happens in the right order. But I don't know. It shows, like I said, guys, it could be that tomorrow we have these unsealed. Okay, it's very likely. I, like I said, you know, it could be, but it could also be that it's not tomorrow. But I feel like. What ha what is showing me something is very consistent and pre pretty clear is that this has already been done. Like the you know these indictments were written or whatever, however you call it, I don't know the term. Um, they're already they they are kind of like um, it's a little bit like you have the frozen food or something. You just put it put it in the in the oven. You know, it's not like they have to cook it from scratch. It's already cooked. It's just waiting, and it's like you kind of put it. You just turn on the oven and you. will for our show, the oven. I was I baked it before, many months ago, just in case I knew there was a big party. So, 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 okay. So Cindy's asked me a completely different question. So whoever legally won the Senate will be replaced with their port. No, that's a whole <laughs> Cindy. That's a whole other question. Okay, I don't know. This is a very separate question. I I don't. Uh, right now, I think you know we were at the very end. I think this is maybe you know I'll, I think I'll. I don't know what you guys think. I'm going to to continue these readings, okay, for the next, I guess, the next few days, if you know, because I feel like, don't you? I hope I. It is a little bit rambling, okay. It is a little bit rambling, but but um, on my end, okay. But I, I feel like there's so much. This is I'm not, because my energy is is lowering a little bit, okay. But it's just um, the whole what how, uh, Cindy's question is huge. Okay, so she's like, okay, what happened? Because actually, I do have this question: What's going to happen to the people if these people are indicted? As we see, like, oh, let's say all these people in Senate are indicted, the House or whatever. What happens to their seats? Are we going to have special elections? Are they going to be kicked out? You know what I mean? So it's not a simple. There's not. It's not a simple answer, and it's not going to be. You know, I, I would. I I doubt it highly that they just you just get your the opponent. It's not. That would not be democratic if you just get the, the opponent and right. So there there is very likely going to be special elections. And I was looking this up actually yesterday. And every state has different laws. Some states the governor has to appoint a new person. Other states there has to be a special election. So it's all these different things that we don't really know what's going to happen. Okay, it's just um. Oh my God! Sorry. Okay, I don't know. You. Sorry, weird. If somebody call me. So anyway, so so um, so what was I gonna say? So um, so uh, sorry, weird. And somebody else. So anyway, just I was just saying, guys. Yeah. So so I just feel like this is a whole other separate question. First, we have to hopefully get <laughs> the indictments need to come out. You know, and then we'll see. But I just see, I feel like I see all these chaos, you know, right after. Not chaos in the sense of, like, we're not going to know what's going to happen to all these seats and all these people and, and all of that, okay? There's going to be all these new, new, new elections and rules. I mean, and we're only going to be able to change the rules once the new people, these people are, there's going to be people reelected. Let's say that somebody gets, um, somebody's in, let's say Mitch McConnell's indicted. Then there's going to have to be probably special elections or somebody's appointed to his seat. And then these new people are going to have to enact the law, you know, the laws. 
So there's going to be all these kinds of things that have to happen before. But anyway, so this is for another day, okay, guys? So, but I think for today we an we dealt with some interesting questions, okay? All right, thanks for watching, okay? So I'll, I'll be back probably tomorrow, but I'll, I'll post early, you know, kind of during the day what, 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 when I decide to do this or when I can do it, okay? All right, okay, bye.